Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to affirm to get your desires instantly. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things law of assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. You're also more than welcome to join my members only YouTube program. You'll be getting four exclusive videos per month where I'll be offering collective coaching. If you have any questions for me, this is your chance. You'll be guided through your situation in depth by me and be supported by a like-minded community community within a safe space. Hundreds of people's lives have already been changed by becoming a member. The thing is, I found myself to channel the exact answer that each baddie needs. Come to find out that was exactly what they needed to hear. They followed my instructions that were tailored specifically to them and bam, they got their manifestation instantly. We go so much deeper into the law of assumption by learning from specific examples. So if my baddies didn't have a question that week, they still learn life-changing information. It would literally be a no-brainer to invest in yourself and join. So the link will be in the description box down below. If members only is not available in your country or the link for some reason does not work, join through the Patreon link down below. It is the exact same program. This video is part of the Law of Assumption 101 playlist where I go over all things Law of Assumption for beginners. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all things affirming, starting from scratch, what is affirming and how do you do it? Simply put, affirmations are statements that enforce your manifestation. For example, if we are manifesting an SP in our lives, we are getting specific about this. We have decided that that is exactly what we want. We want an an SP in our lives, number one. Number two, we are deciding that it is already done. Number three, we are picking a technique and this is where affirming comes in if you have decided that affirming is the technique for you. Number four, we are following our happiness on a moment to moment basis, but let's rewind a little bit here. Affirming, if you have decided that that is exactly what you wanna to do to remind yourself that you are in a relationship with your SP, you are using affirmations or these statements as a form to remind yourself that you have this in the present moment right now. Affirming is not to get this manifestation. Affirming is to remind yourself that right now you have it. These affirmations are used to reshape your mindset and perceptions in a way that aligns with your desires and goals. When consistently repeated, these affirmations can influence your thoughts, actions, and ultimately your experiences. Affirmations can be short, like I am in a committed relationship with SP or I am happy with my SP or my SP loves me. Affirmations can be very long-winded if you'd like. Pick these affirmations to suit you. So if you talk in a way where you say, my SP is obsessed with me, say that. Or if it's natural for you to say, SP is in love with me, say that. An affirmation can be, I have this laptop. I have this laptop. I have this laptop. It can also be something emotionally charged, like I am happy with this laptop. This is to remind yourself that you have this laptop in the present moment, just like anything else that you want to manifest. It is not about repetition. It is about the meaning behind these words. Can you use robotic affirmations? Yes, but it is a roundabout way of going about your manifestation. If you cannot get yourself to believe or have some sort of meaning behind what you are saying, that is okay. There is no pressure at all. If it is easier for you to blankly say affirmations as much as you can to penetrate your subconscious mind, that works too. Remember, your subconscious mind is not working against you. So if you feel as though it's easier for you to do these robotic affirmations, that means that that is what works for you. That is the fastest way of you going about your desire. But it is through my personal experience that I found that it was a lot easier for me to say affirmations for about 10 minutes, either in the morning or in the evening or in the middle of the day or all of the above. But 
each time I say these things, I would know it into being. I would know that whatever it is that I'm affirming for is fact in my reality. Every other hour that went by where I was not affirming, even if I was thinking against those things, it did not matter because my affirmations were overriding every other thing that I was thinking about. I didn't make hard work of it. I said my affirmations, I knew that it was already done, and anytime I thought anything against that, I just knew that it is not the ultimate truth, and that's it, away we go. It is all about personal preference. If you can't get yourself to believe that it is already done, again, you can repeat your affirmations 24 seven. However, if you are burnt out, that is your body telling you to stop. For a beginner, I would suggest creating one to five affirmations that really resonate with you. There are an infinite amount of affirmations that you can say. I would do my research. The ones that pop out to you the most, the ones that excite you the most, I would recommend to handpick. Then I would pick a time either in the morning or in the middle of the day when you have time or in the evening to repeat these affirmations to yourself for five minutes. Start it nice and slow. So let's say that we've picked these three affirmations. No matter what SP is doing or who he is with, he is obsessing over me. SP and I are in a happy, healthy, whole relationship. SP worships the ground I walk on. Now I would keep saying these on a loop in your head or out loud for five minutes, time it, leave it, move on with your day. In the evening, let's say we have picked three money affirmations. You wanna be financially free. I am financially free. Keep it nice and simple. I get paid to exist. I love that one. Any money that I spend comes back to me tenfold. Now we are saying those three affirmations on a loop, on a loop, on a loop for five minutes nonstop with a timer. We've done that, setting aside, going to sleep. That's it. You can pair this off with other techniques like SATs or visualizing or scripting or any TikTok techniques or anything that your little heart desires. However, it is up to you to decide what is the best for you. Do I want to robotically affirm? Do I want to say these affirmations in my head? Do I want to say these affirmations out loud? Am I going to say this 24 seven? Am I going to say this when I'm in SATs? Am I going to say this when I'm bored or when I'm just not busy? Am I believing what I'm saying? There's no right or wrong answer here. We are not working for these affirmations and for our manifestations. These affirmations are working for us to get us to our manifestations. Keep experimenting and listen to how you feel when you are saying these affirmations. Change it up accordingly. Remember, there are absolutely no rules. We are using affirmations as tools to get our manifestation. You do not have to repeat it a certain time. You do not have to keep on having the same affirmation. You do not have to do the 10K affirming challenge. Although if that's something that excites you, if you heard something like that on Twitter and it kind of sparked this like, oh, it's a challenge sort of vibe in you, go ahead and do that. But whatever energy that you put onto an affirmation or a technique in general is what you are going to get in the outcome of that thing. So if you are giving out desperate energy, like this 10K affirmation challenge is going to get me every single thing that I have been desiring, you're going to get the exact same results that you have been getting this entire time. If you come with it with an energy of this is fun, this is exciting, this is working for me because it's fun and exciting for me and I already know that I have this in my 3D reality already and I'm just gonna have fun with it because I'm just constantly reminding myself that it is already done. What better way than reminding myself 10,000 times a day, if that's your cup of tea, no one is judging you. <laughs> but do that then, right? If you're feeling burnt out, don't do it. Guys, it's really that simple. Affirming is thinking or saying a sentence out loud that reflects that of the manifestation being here in your 3D reality. 
right now. We do not want to overcomplicate this. If there are any questions underneath this comment box about affirmations, I don't want to hear it. I don't want anyone answering any fucking questions under my comment box. All it is, is a sentence telling you that you have this thing in the present moment. It's really as fucking simple as that. Any other question is overcomplicating it. Yes, you can robotically affirm. Yes, you can have 500 affirmations. Yes, you can change your affirmations every single second if you have ADHD. It is not about the way you do it. It is about the energy that you have while doing it. So with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!